Okay, so in this video we want to look at the proof of the quadratic formula using the method of completing the square. So the quadratic formula says that if we have a quadratic polynomial ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then the solutions of this equation are given by negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so let's see how we could prove this. So from this, we'll factor out the a, and I'll have a times x squared over b over a, plus b over a x, plus c over a equals zero. Now I'll divide by a, since a is not zero. So I have x squared plus b over a x plus c over a equals zero, because zero over a is zero. So we can just get rid of the a. Now I'll begin to complete the square. So remember we halve this coefficient. So I get b over 2a squared. This term tags along. And then the additional term that comes from this squaring we will subtract. And so this equals zero still. Now we have x plus b over 2a squared plus c over a minus b squared over 4a squared. Now let's make this a common denominator. So we'll keep this first part the same. And now to make it a common denominator of 4a squared, I need to have a 4ac minus b squared over 4a squared equals 0. Now I'll take this term over to the right hand side, and what I'll have is x plus b over 2a squared equals b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared, because we'll have a, a subtraction, so a multiplication by negative 1. Now we'll square root both sides, and what I'll have is x plus b over 2a equals plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 4a squared. And we can simplify this right-hand side a little bit. So what we can do is we can separate the numerator and the denominator. And the square root of 4a squared is just 2a. Now if I take this b over 2a term onto the other side, I get minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And then if I just combine the fraction, since the denominator is already common, we have minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And that's it. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually apply this formula to solve the, for the solutions of a quadratic equation. But this is how to prove it using the method of completing the square. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, if you want to practice um, some of the quadratics, there will be no practice problems or tute notes in this video, but in, in the previous videos there are the tute notes and the cheat notes. And so if you liked this video, hit the like button, and if you want to see more of this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button.